Shalom! During my high school years, I took a class on the Greek mythology, and I loved it. One of my favorite stories was the story of Odysseus, who was a traveler in the Greek mythology. He once heard of a particular harbor where you can hear the music of sirens. The music was so pleasant and so attractive that it drew the sailors to the harbor. But right by the seashore, there were very, very sharp rocks which would crash and destroy the ships. But Odysseus had an amazing idea. He stuffed his sailors' ears with wax and he tied himself to the ship. So when approaching the harbor and Odysseus heard the music of sirens, he would shout to his sailors to draw closer. But of course, they could not hear the thing. And only later, when they passed the harbor and you could not hear the music anymore, he realized that the only reason he survived because he stuffed his sailors' ears with wax. And then it hit me that perhaps the message from, from Odysseus is not only applicable to a Greek mythology, its essence is deeply rooted in Judaism as well. Because the music of sirens is a symbol for our evil inclination, the Yetzirah. It can be very charming, but it can also take off the person from its original planned road. So how can we stop our ears to the music of sirens? The Gemara in Kiddush cites that Kach HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Omer Lahem Yisrael. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, God, tells the Jewish people, Bonai, my dear children, Barasi es Yitzhah I created the evil inclination, or Barasilo, Torah, Tablet. But I also created Torah as its cure. The Torah becomes really our defense, that we must tie ourselves so tightly to the Torah that we cannot break loose from it. And maybe that's exactly the reason why Moshe Rabbeinu emphasizes in our week's parsha, parsha Be'ezchona, where he says, That only those of you who can attach themselves to Hashem, to cling to Hashem, only you will be alive today. That Torah has to become our major priority in life. And it also has to be applicable to every single aspect of it. When we wake up in the morning, we go to work, we spend time with our friends, with our family, but also when we're just eating or sleeping. Because Torah is the only way we can cure or we can distance ourselves from our evil inclination. Thank you so much and have a wonderful Shabbos.